Imagine waking up one morning and the sky suddenly splits in two. A blinding flash of light, a deafening boom, and a shockwave so powerful it flattens millions of trees in seconds. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, this really happened. And the place was Siberia, Russia, on June 30th, 1908. At around 7.17 a.m., near the Pod Kamenaya Tunguska River, a gigantic explosion rocked the land. The blast flattened over 18 million trees, wiping out an area larger than some countries, about 2,100 square kilometers. Luckily, the area was so remote that only three people died. But the few eyewitnesses who did survive described scenes that sound like the end of the world. One man sitting at breakfast saw the sky split open with fire. He felt a heat so intense that he thought his clothes were on fire. Then came a thundering crash that threw him to the ground as the earth shook beneath him. Even though he was 65 kilometers away, that's 40 miles, the force was still strong enough to knock him off his feet and shatter windows in his village. But the shock waves didn't stop there. Seismic stations across Europe recorded the tremors. The air blast circled the globe. In London, Denmark, even Washington, D.C., scientists picked up strange signals. Nights in Europe and Asia lit up as if it were still daytime, glowing skies that lasted for days. Yet when researchers finally reached the site years later, they discovered something bizarre. No crater. At ground zero, the trees weren't knocked down. They were still standing upright, though stripped bare and scorched. For decades, no one could explain what had really happened. A meteor, a comet, or something even stranger. By the 1960s, scientists found microscopic metal spheres in the soil, nickel and iron, the kind you'd find in meteorites. This led to the leading theory. An asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded in midair, several kilometers above the surface with a force nearly 1,000 times stronger than the Hiroshima bomb. That explained the flattened forest, the burning heat, and the glowing skies. Still, some people weren't convinced. Where was the asteroid fragment? Some claimed it was a secret weapons test. Others even suggested a crashed alien spaceship. But the truth is, space rocks explode in the sky more often than we think. Most are too small to cause serious damage. But the Tunguska event shows what happens when one isn't. So here's the big question. What if it happens again? Scientists believe events like Tunguska happen every few hundred years. Next time, let's hope it happens far away from cities, because if it doesn't, the results could be catastrophic. The 1908 Tunguska explosion reminds us of just how small and fragile we are on this planet and how much of the universe is still beyond our control. What do you think caused the Tunguska event? Was it really an asteroid or something else? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Barai's Universe for more mysteries and shocking stories from our world.